we'll be defining the stair radian. Now, before defining the stair radian, let's first define a radian. If you're familiar with the definition of a radian, then uh, defining a stair radian will be much simpler. Now, let's say we have a circle with a center O. Let's say we have the radius OA of having one unit. Now, let's say we have a subtendent angle theta at the center O in such a fashion that, uh, let's say, it gives us a new arc uh, AB and the length of this new arc AB, length of arc AB, so let's say this is also one unit. Then by definition, this value of this angle is one radian. Then theta will be one radian. So this is the definition of a radian. So what we are doing here, we are using the more most general definition that the angle subtended at the center is given by arc length divided by the radius. Now, in order to define stair radian, so here we are, what we are doing is since we are considering a circle, so this is a two-dimensional representation. Now, if we will go to the three dimension, we know that a circle transforms into a sphere in the three dimension. So let's say we have a sphere. We have the center of the sphere, which we are going to keep it as O. Now, let's say what is the total area of the sphere, the total surface area of the sphere. So that's given by 4 pi, the radius squared. So let's consider the radius to be R. So we are 4 pi R squared. Now, we are going to consider a portion on the surface of this radius. Let's say we take a particular portion on the surface. And let's say we take X percentage of the total surface area. So X percentage of total surface area, we are taking it in such a way such that the area of this small region, which is the X percentage of the total surface area, that is given by R squared, the radius squared. Then in that case, the angle which is subtended at the center of the sphere, so this is going to be a, defined as the solid angle. So this angle is going to be referred to as one stair radian. So we can use this two-dimensional definition for theta and transform it to a three-dimension. So we have the stair radian, which is denoted by uh, omega. So this will be equals to, in case of a two-dimension, we had arclet. Now in three-dimension, we'll have the surface area. So the arclet transforms into a surface area, which will be the surface area of the sphere, divided by the radius squared. So we are in three dimension. Now what's the surface area? So we are considering on the x percentage of t as a, the total surface area, such that its value is r squared, and we have radius squared in the denominator. So this is giving us a factor of one. So this is actually one stir radian. This is how we define a stir radian. Now, for the entire sphere, the, for the total sphere, what is the uh, total surface area? So, that's given by 4 pi r squared divided by radius squared. So, that means we get 4 pi. So, that means for the entire sphere, the uh, the solid angle value is going to be 4 pi stir radian. The one stir radian is defined when we take only a certain portion of the total surface area such that its area that this area of the small surface has r squared value such that when we divide it by the radius squared we get a angle of one stair radian at the center right and for the total sphere the stair radian measure is going to be four pi stair radians